How are you doing? What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Fans Toys Rogue. So here we are, and there she is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some nice artwork of Rogue on this side of the box. We have Rogue on this side of the box. We have Rogue on the bottom, Rogue on the top. Rogue. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have a bio. If you want to read it, go ahead and read it, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with another nice image there of Rogue, and on the back, you have that same bio again. If you want to read it again, the type is very small on the card, but hey, things and stuff and things are ready for cards. Then moving right along, here we have Rogue, and this is Fans Toys' take on a Masterpiece RC, and it's a pretty cool figure. I have my little issues with it, but all in all, it is a pretty cool figure. As you can see, she is a little pink car, just like her G1 self, and uh, yeah, very nicely done. I do like the car mode. I think it looks pretty cool. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some nice... Gunmetal gray right up front here. You have trans clear and blue plastic for the headlights. You got some yellow right there. The pink, uh, the, the pink is a lot more vibrant than it's coming off on camera. It's actually a, a very nice vibrant pink. Looks quite, quite uh, striking in person. Got some nice trans clear and blue plastic there for the windshield. You got the interior there. You got a little console. Got some blue, yellow, and red. You got a chromed out steering wheel, because why not? <laughs> That's the typical pink and white paint scheme. That is RC. And the back, you got the taillights there, done in red and yellow. And the underside, you can see how she kind of folds up under there. And there is her <laughs> definitely visible head syndrome is right there. She just she's just staring at you. Just 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 staring at you under there. <laughs> And there is barely clearance for this, by the way. Like, this part of her forehead right here is literally, like, it, 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 it's, like, that far off the ground. Like, there is, like, barely clearance for it to roll without the top of her head just scraping against the ground there. Um, and it does roll. It's a squeaky roll. It's a squeaky, squeaky roll. But it does roll. Um, the tires are rubber. Also, that's just dirt from my table. I need to clean my table. Anyway, the tires are rubber, which is quite nice. So yeah, so there you have that. Uh, for comparison, uh, here she is with Masterpiece Hot Rod. So let's see how they scale with one another. Here she is with Fans Toys Cup. So you can see how they scale with one another. Here she is with Fans Toys Springer. Man, he's a big boy. You can see how they scale together. And here she is with the Generations Deluxe RC. As you can see how they look together. So there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, she does include some weaponry. She does include her little pistol right here, which is done in gray and black, with a little bit of yellow in there as well. It's a nice looking little gun. I like it. And she does also include a pink rifle, done in two different shades of pink there, with some black. And you can remove this back piece. This back piece comes packed separately and that just tabs right on, like so. Nice little rifle there. Um, there is no storage for the weapons that I have found. The instructions don't say anything about storage, and it doesn't seem like there would be any room to store anything on this anyway. And there's no slots on these to tab them on anywhere. So yeah, no, the weapons don't store, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me. Weapon storage in vehicle mode has never been a necessity for me, but I appreciate it when it's there. 
There are quite a few other accessories, but they're all for robot mode, so we'll get to that when we get to robot mode. So speaking of robot mode, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Alrighty. So. <laughs> This, this is a little tricky, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. So first thing you want to do is just come right here to these side gray sections and you want to just unpeg them from the sides like so. Just unpeg those like that. Once you do that, you can come under here and just kind of get a hold of her feet and just fish them out if you can. There we go. Just get on that fished out there and just pop the body down. You can see you have these open panels right here because these openings are for these hinges to go into. So you just bring all this down and now we're going to work on her legs. This is the easiest part of the transformation is the lower body. Um, everything gets tricky when we get to the upper body, but for the legs, you're just going to bring them down and this section will collapse up like that. The shin section will also collapse up and this one is quite snug. There we go. Then you just want to close up that thigh panel right there. Bring the foot forward. Bring the toe down. And then you just want to rotate the leg at the thigh. And there you have leg all done. Second us, just like the first. So just bring that down. Compress that. Compress compress that the shins for some reason are like super super difficult to get compressed up come on come on girl work with me there we go geez so bring the foot around bring the toe down close that up rotate that's the thigh and we're getting there we're getting there it's coming along, it's coming along quite nicely. So the next thing you're gonna do is just take the hips and you just want to bring them out. They're on sliders, so just bring them apart like that. Then you just come back here. This one already <laughs> went into place for me. But these sections here, you just want to bring in and then you just want to collapse the waist up like so. And there you have the lower body all done. And that was the easy part. So now we are going to move on to the upper body. Now let me raise up a little bit more here so I got some room to operate. Sorry. So at this point we can take the uh, top of her head and just bring that down there like that just to get all that out of the way. So now you want to take this section here and uh, just split it down the middle. These side sections here. I'll just come undone. You got a peg that goes in there and you got this little hook tab that goes underneath that section there. So just bring that down like so. And then you want to come here and you want to take the wheels and just compress them in like that. Compress that in like that. And just so you can see how this whole armature is, the whole armature that goes on right in here, just so you can see how that's oriented when you're going into car mode, just to help you out there, before we start undoing all this. So let's get started on these sections, and this gets a little bit, a little bit tricky here, and it's gonna get a little bit floppy here, so I'm gonna do my best to try to show this, but anyway, you wanna take this section here, and you want to untab it, bring it down. This little pink section here, you want to bring up. This section here, fold that in, Fold that in like so. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this section right here and this will unpeg. So just bring that up. And once you do that, we can now extend this entire armature here. Now, once we do that, just kind of want to turn this around because we need the room. So what you're going to do here is you're going to take this section. This section will collapse up like this. And then this, select, this section will just fold over like that, over that. And you want to make sure that this whole armature here is brought down like so. Oh, one thing I always forget to do, and don't forget to do this, little panel right here that you want to flip up right there. I always forget to do that. Always, always, always. <laughs> so once you have that done, 
you're going to take this section here and this will just come in right here and then you have to bring this armature up to here which involves having to push things past things which I am not the biggest fan of but it's the only way to do this um, and this part genuinely annoys me but there you go you just get that around like that and there we go and then you just take this panel and that will just tab over that right there and there you have that one side all done. Second verse, as you can guess, is just like the first. So just bring that down. Uh, you want to bring this little pink section up. You want to take this little bit here, fold that down. That's one slightly different step there. Fold that in, fold that in. Make sure that's folded in like so. On top of this. Oh, it did it for me. Thank you. Help me out a little bit there. Extend all that. And then we just collapse. And collapse. All that in like that. And again, just bring all this around like so. <laughs> Are you confused yet? So was I the first time I transformed this. Uh, oh, I always forget. See, I always forget. Flip up this little panel here. Why do I always forget that step? Why? I always forget it. I always forget. <sighs> anyway, so <laughs> collapse all that in and swing all that in like so. And again, get this armature up and around that, which again, not my favorite thing. Like that. Bring that down. And there you got that done. So. <laughs> We're getting there, people. We're getting there. All right, so at this point now, we can take the arms and just extend them, bring them around, and bring them back on these hinges just to get them out of the way because we need them out of the way for what is coming up next. So just rotate that around. Rotate. And get. And there we go. Get that out of the way, like so. And now we can take this bottom section here. This will untab. Like that, in this section here, you can just flip in like so. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this assembly here, and this is going to come, oops, get out of the way, come around like so. You want to fold this in, and this will feed through this opening here. So just bring that down and just bring all that through like that and all this will come around like so once you do that <laughs> once you do that now we can work on all this that's flopping around here now we can get all this secured so these sections here you just want to these are kind of getting in the way a lot of things kind of get in the way when you're transforming this girl but you just want to take this section here and just Kind of swing this in like so. Come on. Come on, girl. Or let me girl. There we go. Swing that around like that. Make sure the arms are out of the way. Take the other side and just swing that up. So everything ends up right in there like that. And then they will tap together like so. So once you do that, you just want to rotate the lower body here at this hinge. Just rotate it around, and all of this will collapse down like that. And you have these tabs that will plug in right there and secure all that in place like so. That's how you want all that. So we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> at this point now... Just bring the arms down, kind of get all this stuff out of the way, and the shoulders will just tab into the sides of the body right there, like so. And then we just bring the chest section around. This hinge comes down, this comes down, and that just goes right in through there. And you have these two tabs that will go into these two slots right there. So just get everything all lined up and just give it 
a squeeze. Give it a good squeeze. Get everything tabbed in there. And then you can just take your head and bring it up. And these sections here will just drop back behind our shoulders. Like so. And then you just rotate our arms, or if these are oriented properly, rotate our hands around. And just fix the arms so everything is oriented properly. Bring our hands down. And I think we're done. Let's get a little more. A little adjustment there on those bits right there. And I think we're done. Oh, we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo! We're done. And there you have Fans Toys Rogue in her robot mode. And she looks good. It's definitely a good looking uh, G1 RC. As you saw on um, the transformation, definitely has its fiddle factor. Definitely on the fiddly side there. But the end result looks really good though. Like I really dig the look of this figure. Um, very nicely done in, in my opinion. That's getting close here, not there. No, eyes up here, eyes up here. Be a gentleman. Okay, there we go. Take a look at that head sculpt. Um. I love the face sculpt on this figure. That looks really, really good. Like she just looks, she just looks pretty. She's just a pretty looking girl. Look at that. Look at that. Just a pretty looking robot. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, very nicely done face sculpt. Like I really dig it. Nice blue for the eyes. Got a bit of lipstick. Got the Princess Leia buns going on. Her robo buns. <laughs> Her Princess Leia robo buns. Looks very nice. Very nicely done. Head sculpt, and of course it is the typical pink and white color scheme that is RC. You got some gray there for the midsection with some details picked out in paint as well. But overall, like I said, very nicely done. Got the pink kneecaps with some black in there as well. You also got some black details right up in here. Some nicely detailed hands. Feet. She, she does have heels, but thank God it's not the, you know, stilettos. <laughs> because that makes figures really hard to pose when they have those stiletto heels. I hate those. I hate those. And going off the back. You can take the steering wheel and just kind of tuck that back there like that. Bring that back. Yeah. I mean, the backpack is kind of the typical RC backpack with these big things hanging off. You know, I mean, it's just pretty much par for the course with an RC. But, you know, everything uh, compresses pretty well. But yeah, overall, I think it's a really nicely done figure. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. You don't get a lot of wiggly-waggly just due to the shape of her head and the color there. So you don't get too much wiggly-waggly. But she can look up a good ways. She can look down. Uh, the base of the neck is also on a hinge. So it can move forward and back as well. Can do a full 360. Uh, the shoulder pieces, you know, they're on hinges. So you can kind of, you know, bring them in, bring them out, have them sitting wherever you want. Shoulders are on a ball joint. Can do a full 360. Can go in and out. You do have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. So you have full range of movement there. You do have forearm rotation, which basically serves as your wrist rotation. And the hands can move in, move out. The fingers are on a hinge so they can open and close. As far as a waist joint goes, uh, not really much of a waist joint, uh, not really much rotation wise. You do get some pivoting from side to side just due to that, uh, that transformation joint being there. Um, so you do get some, you know, some hip wiggling action there. Uh, legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward. And almost do the full splits. Thigh rotation. It's a single jointed knee, but you get full range of movement out of it, which is quite nice. And the feet, they can move up a little bit, move down a lot. You got ankle tilt, and you do have a toe joint there if you need it. So she is pretty posable. I have to fix this little waist piece because when you bring the leg out, you can kind of undo that which is kind of annoying. There we go. But yeah, oh no, she is pretty poseable. 
And of course, if you want, you can give her her weapons. You can give her a pistol or her rifle. Now the way this works is, as you can see, the tab is actually on the fingers here and the slot is in the front of the handle. So you're gonna take the gun and just, you wanna open her hand up as wide as it'll go and then just slot the gun in from the front like that and then close her hand up and there you go. Now she's got a gun, she can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Or if you want, you can give her the rifle as well. And just attaches the exact same way. Just tab it in. There you go, she's got a rifle. She can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So you can have her all armed up if you wish. Now, if you don't want her to be holding weapons, if you don't plan on displaying her holding any weapons, uh, you do get an optional pair of hands here that don't have the tab in the fingers. So, you know, if you want, you know, weaponless, holdingless hands, you do have that option. They're just on mushroom pegs. So you just pop them off, pop the new ones on. As always, it's totally up to you what you want to do. Your toy, display it however you wish. But you have the option, and as always, options are good. Now you do also get five optional faces for RC here. Which again, just gives you some more display options. And the faces do swap very easily. You just lift her head up, just get under her chin, and just pop her face off and ah! I'm sorry, girl, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I have to. But uh, the other optional face that you get, one of the other optional faces is this right here, which is, you know, a smaller mouth, bigger eyes, makes her look a little bit more like a, you know, like, like anime RC maybe, I don't know. But hey, you have that option if you want to take advantage of it. Uh, you do also get RC with her visor, which we see in the... 86 movie and just pop that on right there so you can see how that looks that looks pretty cool got her shades on her features so bright she's got to wear shades but you have that option as well uh you do also get this face which is a lot like the original face that comes installed on the figure she just has a little bit of a smirk there a little bit of a smile so there you go it just looks pleasant there. She's smiling. She's happy. She's RC. <laughs> you also get this face right here, which is like, hey, I'm talking to you. Hey, hey, hey. It's 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 an option. It's it's an option. And last but not least, you get um. You get this face, which, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's her when she's sleeping. That's what it's, she's sleeping. That's her sleeping, her sleeping face. It's her sleeping face. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. It's her, it's, it's her sleeping face. <laughs> they have that. So just put her regular face back on there. So. But again, you get a lot of display options there, and options are good. So there you have that. And the last accessory that is included with this figure is an optional chest plate. Now, one thing to mention is that the chest plates are, uh, are made of die cast. So you always get that little bit of die cast content in these figures, which is always nice. And yeah, you get an optional chest in case you, uh, you know, if you want her to be a little more, uh, if you want her to have a more uh, shapely bust. You got that option as well. This is actually what comes installed on the figure when you take it out of the box. But me personally, I I, uh, I like the more cartoon accurate chest, so I already swapped it out. Um, but yeah, if you want a more uh, shapely chest there, hey, you, you have the option. Um, as far as swapping the chest out goes, um, all you have to do is just undo these two screws right here. You do have to swap this piece out as well. You just have to undo this one screw and that'll just slide right out. And you have to transfer this piece over into the other one. So that's all you have to do. Swapping the chest piece is quite simple if you want to do that. So, so yeah, you have uh, you have Roboob options. Hey, why not? There, I say why not.
But yeah, that is pretty much it. There, get all this stuff situated. There you go, and now for comparison. Here she is with MP10. Let's see how she scales there with the big boss bot. And here she is with Masterpiece Magnus. See how she scales there, and we're gonna try try to get some kind of a group shot going here. Masterpiece Hot Rod. So she's a little bit taller than Masterpiece Hot Rod. I don't know if that's accurate. With Fans Toys Cup Hot Rod, you and your weak ankles. I hate you and your weak ankles. You mm. Fans Toys Springer. Uh, who made this toy? Unique Toys, I believe. Unique Toys Blur. Uh, who else do we got here? Retgar. I don't know where to put Retgar. Let me put you over here. There you go. With Retgar and next Transbots Wheelie and mm, Hot Rod. Hot Rod! Hmm. Not too, okay, a couple hold you up. Okay, there we go. Oh, and the uh, Generations Deluxe RC. There you go. She's little, but she doesn't go with this group shot. So get out of here. So there you go. So there you have Fans Toys Rogue. Um, you know, another nicely done figure from Fans Toys. Um, the, the transformation is a bit fiddly, and it's really mostly just with these sections right here. That's pretty much where all the fiddle factor is. The transformation is a little fiddly, but it, at, at least it's not a tedious transformation. You know, it's not like uh, it's not like Alien Attack El Cid. You know, like that was a fiddly transformation, also a tedious transformation, where you were just glad it was over when you were finished transforming it, and you never wanted to do that again. Um, despite the transformation on Rogue being a little fiddly, I do actually still like messing with her. Like I, I do like messing with the figure and transforming it back and forth, despite the, the little bit of fiddle factor. The transformation could definitely have been a bit smoother as far as these sections go. Um, you know, pretty pretty much any issue I have is with these with these sections. Um, you know, the transformation here could have been a bit smoother. Again, it just it has that instance of having to push things past things where, you know, if you know me, you know I'm not a fan of that. So that definitely uh, could have been engineered a bit more smoothly. But all in all, it's a great looking RC in both modes. I think the vehicle mode looks really good. I think the robot mode looks really good. And yeah, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So that it goes. So if you would like this or any of Fans Toys other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Fans Toys Rogue, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, home in your face. Hey, RC, RC, check it out. Guess who's the new leader of the Autobots? That's right, me! So you don't need that Springer anymore, no, no. Just ditch that zero and get with the hero! What the? No, 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 don't go. I scared you. I said too much. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love!